trailer that happened, and that is the Suicide Squad trailer was unveiled, and this one was actually unveiled to the world as of Comic-Con. They did release it online, and it won't be leaked if you like the Deadpool one. You can just go on to YouTube and find a really good HD copy of it. And it, it's going to be pretty cool. So it starts off with Amanda Waller pretty much sitting around with a couple of uh, army brass and saying, hey, I've got the worst of the worst together. And I've thrown, she says, I've thrown them in a hole and thrown away the hole. And so I, I, I guess that was supposed to be good, but it was kind of okay. corny. Yeah. Um, so we, we see that they, they flash to different views of all the different villains going to be in there. Captain Boomerang, you have uh, Deadshot, you have Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, and they really show her off most, I would say, uh, Harley Quinn. They show her kind of like contorting herself weirdly in a cell at one point, but it's it's looking like it'll be fun. Um, now she's probably one of the more popular of the Suicide Squad characters at this point, just in general. Which is funny because she's a character that didn't exist in comics. She was actually in, invented for uh, the Batman the Animated Series. So, and then incorporated into the comics later, which is pretty cool. That just shows you how much that series really, you know, had an effect on the comic world in general. Um, but that well, was that she's was a really just a popular character now, though. So yeah, okay. and and she was she's probably she wasn't in the original iterations of the Suicide Squad, and she's becoming one of the more popular ones uh, of the later iterations of the Suicide Squad. Because if you don't know anything about them, they come, they go, they come, they go. Because you know sometimes people die, sometimes the bad guys get thrown back in jail, and this is really a way for them to commute their jail sentences. So. There's, so back to Amanda Waller, she's talking about everything, and she says uh, something about, one of the guys says, some of these people are said to have had powers, and she said, yeah, some of them do. Seems like every freak has come out of its hole since the the, the, man, the Superman, pretty much, the Man of Steel happened in Metropolis. So it's really going to fit into that DC cinematic universe that they're trying to create pretty well, it seems like, because if you don't know, Man of Steel was supposed to be the kickoff of that shared universe. Batman vs. Superman will be the next real big one, and then they'll get into the Justice League movies and everything. But it does seem like this is going to be part of that shared universe. So that's... So wait, are they, are they saying that there weren't people with powers until Superman shows up on the scene in Metropolis? Or the, the, that they just started coming out of the woodworks more and they were being more noticed. Well, I, I don't know as much about um, these. I didn't realize that there there might be that as part of the continuity that you, Superman shows up and then everyone else starts showing up with powers. But well, that, that's kind of what I'm seeing. Unrelated. I'm, uh, that's kind of what I'm Batman seeing. Batman has to be around the same time, and he at least it wasn't because of Superman that he, he shows up and he, he doesn't have powers and he fights people without powers, though. Yeah. But, but, like, if you look at a lot of Batman's villains, not all of them have powers. You, usually they're kind of like Batman. The Joker doesn't have powers. Harley Quinn doesn't have powers. Yeah. But you look at, like, Scarecrow and Riddler and Penguin and, and t well, Two-Face, uh, he's not powered. He's just, like, disfigured. So a lot of Batman's rogues gallery, they don't have powers. Now, Croc, Killer Croc does have powers. And I can't remember the character's name, but there was a Killer Croc lookalike in this, so, <laughs> um, in Suicide Squad. Oh, I wish I could remember his name. Um, but we're going to see a lot of a lot of cool action, and these villains are really going to be taking the forefront of it. Now, it seems to be that the plot will center around Joker, um, at least for them taking down Joker, which will be interesting to see how Harley Quinn reacts to that. They did show off Jared Leto's Joker, and I, unfortunately I'm not impressed. But that's all right, because I don't have to be impressed on the very first trailer. Yeah. Was that in the Suicide Squad storyline that they go and take out Joker? Because I think at it just one seems point like an odd person for them to. Well, they want to introduce there is Joker Batman still. They want to introduce Joker into this this shared universe, and they don't. Well, I don't Batman, think they're going to do it with just, Batman. Just do it. Well, Batman's being introduced into the shared universe with Superman, so there's not really a place for Joker right like, there. I guess you could. Just and they want to get him in there quick because Joker is one of the most popular characters characters in general, uh, not just heroes or villains. He's just one of the most popular characters in general. So it mm -hmm. seems like a good idea to get him in there as fast as you can. Um, now, again, he didn't really impress me too much. I, I'm gonna, it's definitely a new take on Joker that we've never seen before. The voice was different. The look is extremely different. Like he was walking around without a shirt on half the time in the trailer. And he's got these like silver teeth, which we all saw from the picture. Uh, so it'll be interesting. I, uh, you know, Heath Ledger's Joker didn't impress me until I saw the movie. So I'm not going to judge that 
before then. Um, they did show one part where Joker's driving around in a Lamborghini with Harley Quinn in there. And I, I think Batman might make up an appearance in this movie because they show Batman right in on top of said Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. So eh, don't be too surprised if we see a little bit of a, a little bit of a hint at Batman in this shared universe. Maybe he captures the Joker or captures Harley Quinn or something like that. And that's how she gets thrown in jail. So we'll, we'll have to see where that goes. But all in all, this looks like it's going to be a great movie. Uh, Will Smith is in a Jai Courtney, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn looks spectacular. So, I can't imagine Will Smith would sign on for a bad movie. Uh, he just hasn't done it, like, ever, so... He's had some mediocre movies. All right, name him. Wild Wild West was kind of mediocre. Okay, all right, fine. You could just throw that in the bad movie character. Damn it, I shouldn't have called you out on that. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad movie right there. So... But I am excited to see this movie. It does look pretty awesome. But let me know what you think. Did you see that trailer? What are your first impressions? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words to My Face on Twitter. Who plus Facebook? Always good ways getting a hold of you.